have been many explorations of our area over the years. In 1608, the French settled Quebec, the first French city to be established in North America. They settled where the river became narrow, at the very top of Cap Diamant, Diamond Cape. This place helped the French control access to the rivers that ran deep inland as far as the Great Lakes. All along the St. Lawrence River, there was fertile land for farming. We call this territory the St. Lawrence Lowlands because it is not mountainous and runs right down to the water. The French who stayed in this area had to face very cold winters, the likes of which they had never experienced in France. It was so cold that the river froze over for half of the year, making travel by ship impossible. This meant that New France had no contact with Europe during the winter. By 1645, the three largest settlements in New France were Quebec, founded in 1608, Trois-Rivières, or Three Rivers, founded in 1634, and Montreal, or Ville-Marie, founded in 1642. Although the territory of New France was fairly large, almost the entire population of French settlers was concentrated in these three cities, which were all located in the St. Lawrence Valley. In Quebec itself, they were enlarging the church and streets were being laid out by 1645. Quebec was now becoming a small village indeed. Trois-Rivières was still a very small trading post. Montreal had just been founded and was inhabited by only a few people at the time, including missionaries who wanted to convert the indigenous people of the area to the Catholic religion. In Montreal, the first fort there was also under construction. Remember, too, that in New France, many of the settlers were there to trade furs with locals there and up the river. Quebec City, Trois-Rivières, and Montreal are located in the lowlands of the St. Lawrence, near waterways that also helped them transport things back to Europe. And these same rivers helped them trade furs with indigenous people. Afterwards, people continued to settle in these areas because, as mentioned earlier, the land was fertile enough for at least some farming.